And next up, Byron Lefwich, quarterback for the Jaguars at the time. That one is numbered to 75. Uh, actually, two versions of this card uh, are, do exist out there with signature variations. He either put the 7 on there or he did not. Uh, I've never looked at enough of them to determine if he just started doing that at a certain number or whatever, but I think that the number 7 one was a little bit tougher. And that's numbered to 75. And then we've got Jamal Lewis, uh, running back for the Ravens, numbered to 400. And quarterback for the Steelers at the time, Tommy Maddox. Uh, I think he'd won like NFL Comeback Player of the Year that year or something, so it was actually a pretty decent one at the time. And that is numbered to 592. And then you've got the highest numbered card in the entire set is the Peyton Manning. It's numbered from 900. Uh, it's still actually one of the most valuable in the set. I think it typically still sells even for like 65 on the low end or something, so... <clears throat> You got Deuce from the Saints, Deuce McAllister, uh, numbered to 250 on that one. Next up, one of the toughest signatures in the NFL. Uh, I think most of his stuff is severely undervalued for the numbers he's put up over his career. Good luck trying to find a signature of his on a nice card from a like on card from a nice set. Um, they're really just not out there, and nobody seems to care. But anyway, maybe someday somebody will start chasing them. Uh, Donovan McNabb. Obviously one of the more short print in the set because he hardly signs anything ever. On card, great signature. Um, number 275, so if you see it, you might want to add it to your collection. One of the uh, biggest names ever in the hobby, Joe Montana. Uh, one of the lower numbered cards in the set. It's only numbered to 21. Um, the thing about this one is, as well with the LA and one other one that we'll still get to yet, is that these ones, there's actually regular set cards that are numbered less than the gold version. So there's actually a gold version of this card out there numbered to 25, as well as the Elway. And some of these actually make it more difficult. It's actually more difficult to complete the regular issue set than it is the gold set, just going by numbering. So there you go, it's a Montana numbered to 21. <clears throat> Next up, another big name, Joe Namath, one of the lower-issued uh, cards in the set, numbered only to 35. And here is something you very well may never be able to see again. Hopefully someone will respond to this if they actually have this card. Uh, this is the Terrell Owens. It says that it's numbered to 286, and it's got 156 as a serial number on there. The uh, story behind this one is I actually purchased, like I said, product and broke the product. I ended up with three redemptions for the Terrell Owens. Upper Deck never honored any of those redemptions. Uh, I had only seen two copies of this card show up for sale in the three years that it took me to get this set together. Finally, someone posted one, and at that point I'd finally done enough research to figure out that this thing exists nowhere, anywhere near 286 in quantity. There are probably less than five of these out there, if that. So if you ever see this card, and by the ridiculous valuation that uh, the people at the price guide listed at, I think it's like 20 and $40, and they slapped SP after it, after I argued with them over a year, um, to actually prove to me that they had somebody else that had this card or had sold it or had proof of a transaction, they couldn't do it. I knew they couldn't. Um, so anyway, this is an extremely difficult card to find. Uh, there's no way there are 286 copies that exist unless Beckett's got them locked, I mean not Beckett, uh, Upper Deck's got them locked up somewhere. And as far as I know, um, I have not seen another one for sale in about the last uh, about two years, three years or so since I actually acquired this one. So if you ever see it, probably want to pick it up if anybody's uh, looking to sell it for anywhere near the uh, listed value of it. It'll be the last card you probably need for the set outside the Elway. Good luck with that one. Uh, Chad Pennington from the Jets, and that is numbered to 141. Jerry Porter, wide, uh, Raiders, uh, wide receiver, numbered to 600. Next up, good running back there. You got Quentin Portis at the time with the Broncos, and that is numbered to 520. And then we got Peerless Price, wide receiver with the Falcons. And next up, one of the other toughest cards in the entire set that you'll see, uh, Jerry Rice. One of his uh, few cards when he was uh, with the Raiders there for a short time. Anyway, it's numbered 13 of 16. So that is the, I believe, the second lowest uh, numbered card in the set. 
And once again, like I said, the gold versions would actually be numbered to 25, so the regular issues are more difficult to find in some cases. Next up, John Riggins, great running back for the Redskins, and that one is numbered to 105. And next up, we've got Corin Robinson, wide receiver for the Seahawks, numbered to 530. Barry Sanders, I don't know who that guy is, just kidding, anyway, 43 is the total uh, production on that card. Then we've got Bart Starr, quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, numbered to 120. And his signature is a good one to uh, acquire just uh, for the fact, obviously, that he's great. But I think he still insists on, like, personalizing everything if he signs in person for people. So the only ones that you'll see that uh, don't have uh, an inscription on them that are personalized to someone are usually his hobby release stuff. So just a little fact of information for you. Now here's uh, one of the redemptions. Never got numbered. It's listed as an SP in the set. Uh, it took a long time. This, I think, was the longest redemption it took Upper Deck to get back to everybody. Uh, Lee Suggs for the Browns. Like I said, no number there on the bottom. And this, I think, is the only one in the set that will have a uh, different color foil down here in the corner. It came back as gold foil. Every other one of them on the back is silver, which I just thought was kind of odd and unique, so just point that out. And next up, drop the thing there, uh, 475 is the number on the Terrell Suggs, and I think this one was a redemption if I remember correctly, um, and he just signed the biggest contract ever for an NFL linebacker, so. And one of the most difficult signatures to get on card in the hobby, uh, I think at the time he only had two other certified signatures that had been released over the years. And one of them was back at way back in like 92 when they did the pro line signatures or something. So, Lynn Swan, Steelers, number to 125. One of the nicest cards of his, uh, signed cards that is. And Zach Thomas, I think this one also was a redemption, number to 350. Another tough signature, he really never signed a lot. And you've got Brian Urlacher from the Bears, number to 250. Javon Walker, Packers wide receiver, numbered to 600. Nice, uh, huge signature there. And finally, Ricky Williams uh, from the Dolphins. Since he really doesn't sign a lot, this one is also only limited to 50 there, so one of the tougher regular release cards. All right, so that's it. That's the 2003 Upper Deck SP Authentic Sign of the Times autograph set. Uh, total set, according to Upper Deck, and from what I've been able to gather in the last uh, eight years of the uh, I'm sorry, not eight, I guess it's about seven right now, putting this together, um, is that it's probably one of the nicest autograph sets that ever got issued. Like I said, great mix of Hall of Famers, stars, rookies that are in there, and super limited cards of uh, great players. So uh, if you wanted to chase after something like this, uh, like I said, it took me three years to build it, and that was when the product was relatively newly released. So at this point, you probably have a very difficult time tracking down some of these cards. But if you have a complete set of autographs, um, I'm kind of just starting this video to try and get everybody to start posting these on there because anybody can go get, grab a guide and look up a set and then you have no idea what it looks like or they put those little blurbs in there where they say less than you know 20 copies are unlisted due to scarcity. So some of these cards that you know you've got in collections people are never going to see if it's in a personal collection. So if you've got a complete set please post it. Uh, something, anything nice like that, jersey sets, autograph sets, whatever. Uh, I just think it would be great to start building some archives of this stuff so everybody can see it. Like I said, I've seen three copies of the Terrell Owens in all these years, so I know that like no one's seen that card outside of a few people apparently at Upper Deck or something like that. So if you got them, post them, uh, do them as video responses to this. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, there's somebody else that just started doing this in the last week or so. I think it's Coach Lou Ten. And it's uh, LEW10 is the end on that uh, YouTube tag. So if you want to check his out as well, I think he's got some uh, Leaf Limited uh, Rookies and Stars autograph sets on there and stuff from the early 2000s. So certainly check those out as well. And like I said, if you got them, post them. Thanks.